Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. In this session, we are going to see an overview of TaskT development platform. TaskT development platform contains an interface and in the interface there are a lot of keywords which has its own purpose which helps us accelerate the bot design process. Before getting into building a bot in details, let's get familiarized with an interface so that it will be easy for us to really work around it. Welcome back, let's get started. In the last session, we created task T shortcut, and, uh, which we are going to use it. You can click the shortcut or wherever you have task T installed. In my case, I have, I have downloaded and installed in the task T in a C drive. So you can go to task T and a release folder. You should find an icon task T icon with an application. So you can double click this or you can create a shortcut in the desktop, which you can able to double click it and get started. So to get started with task T, these are some of the options which you can use. The first thing if you want to know about task T is to know about what version it is. So you could use this part wherein you can click on here. It will give you the version details of task T. The current version is 3.5 uh, at the time of recording. So that's about the version. So on the top, you can see uh, the task T icon in that place. You can see when file is saved, file is being created or saved. Next, we have on the top, which is a menu or a main menu. Main menu in which you have four options, file actions, options, script actions, save and run. We'll see each one of them in a bit. And below that you have list of uh, keywords, which is over here. You can see the list of commands, actions, list of commands. Here you should find a list of some of the helpful and recent files which you have opened and the location of a repository in the GitHub, which I call it as helper information. So these are some of the important elements of the task T interface or a development environment. Quickly see things uh, in here. So let's go to the file menu. You have file, you have a, uh, open an existing file and you can import a file, save, save as, restart and close application. So instead of going for a new file, I'll start with something like a close application uh, from the bottom. So let's say close application will close the application uh, in a new, normal way. And then you can also have like whenever there is a, you feel like things are not well and you need to restart your task tree to clear your memory or anything you saved. And then like it's, it's giving a flaky behavior because of a, um, any issues, you can always click restart. So it will basically restart the application, uh, which will clean up all the memory and, and any other cleanup operation needs to be done. Now, let's see for some of the options to create a file. You cannot just click on create a file. Nothing gets created. You just need to use some commands and then file gets created for you if you need to create a new file. So for example, I said a show message, which we have seen in the past or back at previous example, say hello world and click OK. So the moment I click OK, you can see my script file is being created. Now this script file can be saved. You can say save. So then you can, it will ask for a name. You can specify what file name you want to give it in the file name section and it will get saved. If you can say first test program or a test bot and you can save it. So it gets saved. So you can see the save message has been displayed in the bottom. And once you save it, as I told earlier, you can see the file name on by which it is saved. You can say file name, file. So you can see that because we already saved the file, and you can save it as because you can rename this file. For example, I have first test bot. I can say first test bot underscore v1 and I can really save the same file as if you see file name has been changed. This is this is the example of file save as or save. And you have now when you say click new, then this will get closed. That, that's what the new functionality is. Ideally, there should be a um, a panel that gets open. So this is still under development. Uh, we can able to add or extend this capability, but this does not block us from any development of a scripts or anything. The next option which we have is like open file. So you can, as name suggests, you can open the file which we have created. So this is what been opened. And then you can have a 
import file. So you can also import another file. So now in the same thing, you have first file is v1 and then you can import another file, which is v2. Basically it is merging of two bot scripts together in the same file. So that's the difference between import and open existing. So open existing will open one file, but import will basically bring that another file and get it imported here. So you can, it, it saves the time in terms of copying pasting and you can able to bring it. So now uh, we have seen all the options here in terms of file actions. Next you have a, a menu called options. We have something called variable manager. It manages the variable of a global variables for the, we'll discuss that as we go on. Uh, there are settings manager, you can also have some settings and where should it save, what is its root directory. You can always change this. So in this particular case, I'm using this as a root directory and attended task, this is my place where all my scripts are stored and this is, I'm mentioning it as a attended task uh, folder. And there are a few things at the start mode, you can basically, as a builder, uh, build mode, which is basically you're in a development uh, environment. And then you can also say is, attended task modes basically you can give information to the bot like which is human in the loop operations there are a few options here which you can use it like right so launch attended modes you can basically launch an attended mode and you can run them uh, and you can select what you want to run it uh, it's pretty nice uh, i'll close this uh, let's go back to our settings and this is a display manager for vm if you're running this one in a vm and this is execution time or uh, what or how many times you have executed all the metrics so you can see and you can also clear this metric. So that's what we have it on options. And then you also have something if you see that this is there is no nothing else beyond these four menus. You can click on options and you can go to show search bar. So basically you can go to search bar and you can type something and search over there in search bar typical search uh, information at this particular point. I don't want it. So I'll disable that uh, last but not least important thing script action uh, you can record it you can schedule it you can run it we'll come back and see uh, in this case i would just show you run because we already have uh, our uh, script ready and created you can just say run we can run them so you can see it's running and you can click ok and do it so let's go and sh do the show message and say your option a variable options whatever you want to display so display item is hello world and you can add how many seconds you want this message to be displayed and automatically you don't have to click ok to really uh, close it so let's say i'm going to say it's like two seconds and it should basically close it and say okay so if i run the same thing now say let's say i run it so it's basically waiting i think i did not save it so let me just save it and rerun it again okay so file and I go back and save it. Now let's click on this and say run now. So when you run it, you can see that closing in one seconds. So now it's going to close by itself. And then automatically this gets updated to green because it's done and your script execution is over. So this is something called as a run option. The next we'll see it is schedule option. So let's say you can basically say, hey, I want to schedule this test, which is what our test is, bot test. And I say, hey, uh, I would uh, like to schedule this um, today, right? And I would like to in minutes, let's say 10, 11, 0, 0. That is the next few seconds. Let's say add, I can say zero recurring value or recurring value one, say add. So now this is basically added and it got executed because if you see the time, time is basically there, which is executed. You can disable this task if you don't want this. So this is something called schedule, which you can schedule it um, from a scheduling standpoint. So which is basically a schedule. So now that we have uh, seen the options, let's try to go and see how recording works. Click on recording. So recording will basically bring in display the same dialog box or recording screen. Uh, just click start to start with. You can just say start and you can see your option here in F2. Uh, to stop it so you can record now currently the screen is recording being recorded so you can go to start and you can say right click and you can say run and you can just say cal c enter and let's press the button four plus nine 
and answer should be equal to 13 right uh, and let's just go back and say stop so this sequence has been recorded so generally whenever you do mouse recording or mouse based recording there are high chances that it does not play back well but we'll see how does it work whether it's going to play well play back properly or not so save this and run them and like you can see the first statement was like a hello world which we have for two seconds and then i click the mouse and move the mouse around so it's basically playing back going back to the start screen and right clicking it now i'm going to run clicking on run and let's see if it's going to type calci it did type calci and then it's going to press the buttons which i had press that is four plus nine and it should press equal to it should basically stop technically this is what we recorded and this launched till this particular point uh, we could have closed it at the end of the day, I wanted to show you how recording works. You can record it and use this particular recorded sequence and then play it back as you want it, whenever you want it. And once you are done, you can always uh, say file new, which will technically close this. And this become, brings you back the same screen and you can say file and close. So this concludes our session on overview of development environment, task development environment. Thank you for watching. See you in another one.